wildland urban fires are coming closer and closer together because we are expanding rapidly in population. So having both structure and wildland knowledge and combining them with your degree makes you really hireable. Well, for your applied science degree in natural resource management, you can go a lot of different directions with it because the natural resource degree here is pretty broad. So you could go more into hydrology or more into forestry or more into fisheries work or more into range or more into wildlife. So it's pretty open to exactly whatever you want to do. We're on the banks of the Snake River and every spring I, I bring my students here in my watershed management class and uh, we come with uh, Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife uh, Fisheries Biologist and we, uh, we set traps here on the Snake River and we've done about a five year in a row study on what kind of fish uh, diversity we see and so I have my students bring the fish that they trap right up here to the bank and uh, they process those fish and uh, we kind of see trend of what kind of species are inhabiting this spot and then also what their size uh, differences are year to year. I have been in higher ed for over 30 years and one of the things that I have found is that for students it's much more than just the learning that happens in the classroom. It's about connections. We, we typically do a lot of fun uh, activities throughout the year. Definitely the fire ecology labs or fire effects labs, which we were out and about and talking about how we can do fuel management and suppression, change, changing and suppression tactics from just having a complete standard placement where the fire will run through and burn everything to the ground and nothing else. By learning how to manage fuels, we learned how to stop big fires from just killing off an entire forest. We try and get the students engaged uh, with the Natural Resource Club. It's a very active club on campus. I enjoy the students. I really, they're really nice and I like how we all have like the same interests and hobbies. I also like learning about a career that's like I'm really passionate about. Um, annually we'll have ice fishing trips. Uh, we typically go whitewater rafting every spring, hiking, camping trips. Um, and we try and do that just to make learning fun and honestly I try and trick students into learning. So. I grew up hunting and fishing and camping, so I really like being in the outdoors and I kind of just knew I wanted a career in it. And then I took forestry, which actually what got me into firefighting. So the fire training I went through was your basic firefighter type two, which you are gone for about six days. You have about three days of book work where you're going through exactly how, how to fight fire, the right way to do it and the safe way to do it. And then we have a live burn and a couple field exercises to make sure you know we really cement exactly what you learned in class and put it to where we're gonna be practicing all that knowledge. I also learned what happens after a fire. Like we don't really discuss it. We usually fight the fire when we're working, but then I understand the more like the scientific stuff about it and how important fires are. We were out for Susanville, California and Central Oregon this year during the Lion's Head fire. During that, for Central Oregon, we were on a task force with three engines from our district and we were on a lot of suppression and we were on a lot of um, structure protection. So if you're okay with just spending your summer fighting fire a lot and being out and about and making a decent wage, it's very much worth it. And we have outstanding faculty at Treasure Valley Community College, high quality, and when they walk into the classroom, they know that they're in the classroom with an expert and someone who cares about them and who's going to help them be successful.